soon as the city issues a demolition permit, we jump in. We've been working this site for nearly a week. We marked off the cleared areas. We have to watch where we walk. This place is filled with history. Yeah, it reeks with it. What I want to know is why you lifted the body out of the ground before you called us. We find remains all the time. There are old cemeteries all over the city. And this uh, housekeeping around the burial site, that's your work too? We had to make sure nothing was lost. This is an archaeological dig. Hey, this is a crime scene, Mr. Peabody, and we don't appreciate people putting little red ribbons around our evidence. We had no way of knowing these remains were contemporary. Let me guess, the court's watch gave it away? What's this? Animal, vegetable, or mineral? Toupee. Must belong to the corpse. We got bits and pieces of a sheet. The guy was probably gift wrap before Indiana Jones here got to him. Corpse got a name? How about Uncle Fester? There's no meat on the hands. I guess the teeth are gonna have to tell, huh? Jaws are empty. Shattered bones around the sockets. Teeth must have been knocked out. Nice touch. What's left of a blue blazer? Cashmere. Nothing like going in style, huh? No labels, gold buttons. Hey, it looks like a griffin. A what? There's one on my family crest. Seen enough? Yeah. OK, let's pack up Mr. Bones and bring him back to the office. I found this slug from a 22 in the brain cavity. I'll send it over to forensics. Where was the entry wound? Uh, just above the cervical vertebrae. Your basic back of the skull. Yeah, your basic mob hit. Male, medium build, 5'7", probably stooped. Age? I have to soak the bone, macerate some tissue. It'll take a couple weeks. You got any idea how long he was down there for? Time since death, ballpark, between two and 10 years. Once we get the chemical analysis, we can narrow it down. Great, when you get an answer, give me a call at the retirement home. Missing persons has a database of 640 people. None of them were hunchbacks with toupees. What about the building he was found in? Well, aside from the rats and the squatters, we've been checking on three different owners over the last 10 years, currently in the city's lap for unpaid taxes. Emmy just sent this over. They pulled it out of your John Doe's knee bone. Might trace it back to a medical supplier. Hey, if this guy rests in peace for another couple of weeks, he's not going to get any debtor. Well, seeing there's no numbers, no markings, it looks pretty generic to me. What do you say we toss it to Profaci, give him something to do besides the donut run? You caught it. You solve it. What else he had? Got a Hong Kong Rolex that probably died before he did. And gold buttons on a blue blazer. Sounds promising. Just do something before they bulldoze your crime scene. It's British. 18 karat gold post-war. It's a hand-stamped Harrison Townsend. Pity is they've gone belly up. But I think I have something comparable. Ah. Three hundred dollars? It's more than my suit. The Harrison Townsend would run a bit more. Well, <clears throat> what kind of tailors would buy these? I mean, at these prices, it can't be a very long list. In the States, very few. They're very elegant. Haven't used them in years. You know, in the 80s, people had a different attitude toward money. I wouldn't know. I didn't have any. We're going to need a list of your customers who got blue blazers made with these buttons. I'm afraid that's confidential. What are you, a doctor of haberdashery? I have a select number of very distinguished clients. Sir, obstructing justice will get you a select number around your neck. It's a very simple drill, Harry. You just look in your books and you give us the names. In 1987, I ordered 200 buttons for the St. Paul's Youth Choir. In uh, 1985, 80 more blazers for the Ale and Quail Club. The Cunningham Realtors for their top 25 brokers. Every Christmas from 82 on. Realtors, good candidates for a shallow grave. <laughs> We're moving to Jersey City. Even cut back our bonuses this year. No more company blazers? No, <laughs> we haven't done that since money markets were at 16%. Well, we would like to get a list of every broker who got one. Well, our records are in storage in Weehawken. Now tell me what you need. I'll fill out a request slip, and you'll have it by the end of next week. I'm afraid we're going to have to have it by the end of this visit. <sighs> Wouldn't know where to start. 
Well, it'd be a shame to have to go get a warrant, come back and unpack all this neat work. Brokers of the year, 1984, 83, 82. Thank you very much, sir. Last one on my list. Everyone at Cunningham is present and accounted for. Yeah, and we can skip the youth choir and go right to the ale and quail club. Or we can put this folder at the bottom of the pile. What about the women realtors? Didn't they rate blazers? It was Mr. Bones. Who maybe got the jacket from his wife. 